Are you motivated to generate a large portfolio and make multiples of six-figure income? Can you think outside the box? Are you wondering if New York tax deed auctions are taking place this year? This is all about investing small dollars at tax defaulted property auction and then reselling and making big profits. Are you wondering if New York tax deed auctions are taking place this year? Well, the answer is yes. But in May of 2023, tax defaulted property sales and auctions in New York were halted after the U.S. Supreme Court decision, which ruled that the counties cannot keep surplus money from tax foreclosure sales. The answer is yes, the auction is taking place. In May 24, you can see auctions in New York being rescheduled from now on until the end of the year. So what's going on here? New York State Legislature requires all real estate property owners to pay property taxes annually. The majority of the property owners, without further encouragement, will pay their property tax. The local county government needs revenue, which comes from the individual property owners. That revenue is used to pay the police department, fire departments, schools and school teachers, and county employees. The tax revenue is critical and needed to operate the county. If the property owner fails to pay property tax, the Board of Supervisors or County Commissioners will start a legal process and demand the taxes or legal action. Default by the property owner will cause liens and ultimately levies to be filed by the county treasurer. The treasurer auction the property with a starting bid of the delinquent back taxes. The auction will be conducted at a public facility. The property will be sold to the highest bidder. Starting bids are usually 60%, 70%, 80% below the tax assessed value. What you're learning on this video, this is not theory or forecasting. It's a process. It's what's working best right now to attract high income so you get paid the high income that you deserve. So why are we doing this? What attracts us as investors? I come from the practical world. If you're buying real estate from the county or the municipality for 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents on the dollar, and you've evaluated that property and you're purchasing with a large margin between the low auction price and your possible sales price, tax lien certificates and tax deed purchasing makes a lot of sense. I didn't say it was risk-free. Here's a good example. I bought a tax deed at auction on a property that I assumed my exit strategy would be 350 to 400,000. I purchased that property from a tax collector online at auction for a whopping $140,000. I later sold the property for $280,000. The real estate market dropped substantially during my ownership. There was a lot of work and a lot of effort between the $140,000 purchase price and the $280,000 sales price. The county issued me a quit claim deed. That simply meant the condition of the property was my problem. The defects in the title were my problem. I employed an attorney, actually a judge that was retiring. It took 13 months of diligent work before the different judge would issue a quiet title. This was a big challenge. It caused me a lot of extra expenses. 13 months of taxes, heating bills, cleaning bills, landscaping bill, snow removal bills, security bills, I solved all the problems and I made a profit. For sure, there was no guarantee of success. However, my experience has shown me I use coaches. They make all the difference between success and failure. Ask yourself, if you could buy a slightly used and abused real estate for 10 or 20 cents on the dollar, and then you could put signs on the front lawn or small ads on eBay or Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace and sell the property for 50 or 60 cents on the dollar, to a fixer-upper guy and gal, how many of those would you want to buy? The local county needs the money, and with those profits, you would be helping yourself and your family. Most tax defaulted real estate is unkept, used, and abused. Some are junk and some are worthless. You can flip the property, you can resell it, you can rent it, you can live in it. It's up to you, the property is for sale. I've tested dozens of strategies, tactics, and techniques and I've sifted and sorted through hundreds of property lists and auction brochures to find out what works best 
and fastest to achieve the big paydays. Are you willing to work? Most successful people are. Are you motivated to generate a large portfolio and make multiples of six-figure income? Can you think outside the box? Are you a problem solver? Then you want to be in this business. In this business, you don't need a fancy license from the state governor to make real money. You just need informational programs to teach you how to do the system. From my experience, everyone will give you advice about tax lien certificates and tax defaulted properties. Now, some of those that are giving you advice are young, some of them are old. A lot of them are your relatives. Even people who don't like you will give you advice. What's important is realizing that most people are not qualified to help you because they have not studied tax lien certificates or tax defaulted property. It's important to understand they can't help you. Yes, they want to help you, but they have no experience and they're not intentionally giving you bad advice, but it sure works out that way. In this business, there are plenty of opportunities. What you do need is a coach or a mentor to accelerate your success. I suggest you give that a lot of thought. You're probably thinking to yourself, this is not traditional real estate. Well, that's true. It's contrarian. However, it's one of the best ways I know to build a high income business that lets you live almost any lifestyle that you deserve. Be careful about attempting to travel through this minefield by yourself. I like to employ coaches who give me their real life experience. They have learned buying at tax defaulted auctions and selling using the marketing and sales strategy that I've taught them. Now, don't quit your job. This could be a side hustle. You can make enough money on one defaulted property to make your car payments, your house payments, and pay for a nice vacation in the mountains or over in Hawaii. There's more. Properties sold at tax defaulted auctions qualify for a warning. That warning is buyer beware. The purchase of a tax deed from the county does not warranty or guarantee a defect free title by that county. Typically, you'll receive a sheriff's deed. However, it might be a tax collector's deed or a treasurer's deed or commissioner's deed. But more than likely, they're all a quit claim deed. From my experience, the deeds I've noticed from my research, the effect is they're all quit claim deeds, which means you are taking a risk. However, the quit claim deed simply means the county is taking no responsibility for the condition of the property. The county takes no responsibility for defects in the title. I'm not an attorney, I'm not a financial advisor, and I'm not a broker. I'm an investor. These are good questions for you to ask of an attorney and to get answers. In this tax defaulted property business, you make your money when you buy at the auction. If you don't get this part right, you'll end up spinning your wheels and you'll only make a fraction of the money that you deserve. As I wrap this up, knowledge can be power, especially in real estate. My next video will help you stay ahead of the competition. Click the link below and download the valuable resource and continue on your road to success.